don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be checking out. Here we go. Are you ready? Tamba on the Sony PlayStation. Let me check this out. It's been a while since I played this game. And uh man, I don't I probably still have save files on my memory card. Look at the uh, awesome label art this is right here. Look at that. So Tamba is like a crazy platforming game with mixed with RPG elements, you know, all that type of stuff. And it's pretty fun. This is one of those games that are really obscure, not too common on the PlayStation. And uh, it goes for quite a bit of money nowadays, probably close to $100. I bought it when it was... The first time I bought this game, I paid $10 for it. The second time I bought the game, I paid $60. So that gives you an idea of how much value this game increased in a short amount of time. Uh, there is two Tombas, there's Tomba 1 and 2 on the PlayStation, and unfortunately the developer or publisher went out of business. Uh, there should have been a third on the PlayStation 2 and 3 or whatever, and I would have loved to see another Tomba game. Uh, Tomba is definitely, as you can see there, one of the best 32-bit platformers out there, and that is definitely not bullshit. Sometimes you read the back of these cases and it's bullshit. This is definitely not bullshit. This is one of the few 2D games on the PlayStation that could definitely compete with the Sega Saturn 2D, 2D library. The Sega Saturn 2B, 2D games are the best, in my opinion. The hardware can handle better 2D sprites and stuff. Uh, this game right here is probably the best 2D graphics you'll see on the PlayStation. And uh, this copy right here, in particular, is in really good condition. Let's, let's uh, look at the uh, the manual. Let's check this out. Just real quick. Go through the manual. Oh, oh she got Jersey Devil. That's another cool game right there. You got a list of like enemies right here. We got the pigs, the birds, all that stuff. So yeah, let's pop in Tomba on the PlayStation and let's check it out. This game's really awesome. Uh, let's go back and have a little bit of memory lane with this game. Alright, so we need to uh, get the PlayStation set up. Let's get this PlayStation set up. We got the controller right here. We're gonna plug the controller in. Let's get this controller plugged in. And then we need to uh, get the, the actual game open right there. Like like that and then we need to get the game inside the machine we got Tom oh what the hell Tomba it's a very dangerous job doing this over here and we're gonna put Tomba inside the PlayStation I hate when the cord gets tangled when you need to uh, untangle that cord I hate that so get this cord untangled real quick Very, very un unacceptable. We're gonna get this plugged in to the PlayStation. All right, and we're about to play Tomba on the PlayStation using the uh, DualShock controller right here. All right, let's go. So here we are playing Tomba on the PlayStation, that's what you're about to see here. The uh, PlayStation loading up on the, uh, the CRT. We're playing it directly off the actual TV itself, this is awesome. Look at that volume up right there. There is a little bit of glare over here on this side. That's from uh, one of the windows. So it's gone now. <laughs> you got that whoopee camp introduction right there. It's a little on the bright side. Let's see if you can. Uh... Well, 
Oh yeah, you can actually turn this down a little bit. It looks like my PlayStation's kind of skipping. Alright, that's a little bit... Okay, let's leave it right there. I'm going to be playing Tomba. I don't know if I have any seed files or not. We're going to find out. I guess not. So we got the Tomba little thing right there, and then we have this, of course. Let's see if we're gonna get this to focus. Okay, so Tomba kind of reminded me of like a like a Donkey Kong, but for the PlayStation. That's kind of like what with role playing elements. Like you had to read quite a bit. You can see here, there's a lot of reading. Well, I'm going to show you the platform ver portion of it, so the reading is kind of not where I want to show you, but it has a lot of like side missions, all kinds of crazy stuff. You can see right there, you have the, the one, one, the one, whatever the hell that is. So it's definitely like a nice hidden gem platformer. It's a shame that uh, there wasn't a, a third time, but there was a second one. I own both the, the first and second one. They're both really good. And we're here to show you how to play the game. You can swing back and forth. And of course, there's a pig creatures. These it's like the same enemies that you see in Duke Nukem. It's pretty funny. Yeah, this guy right here, he actually comes down and he talks to you. He doesn't shut up. He keeps talking. And he keeps talking. So yeah, in this game you have to read a lot. And uh, the platforming portion of this game is awesome. They have this egg. You crack the egg and you have like a little chick. You acquired a uh, chicken, a little chicken thing. You can also use a weapon. This is only the beginning of the game. There's there's a lot more you can do in this game. Now uh, playing it on a CRT, I'm just looking at the graphics on it. It looks really cool. And over here, I know there's like a little hidden spot right here. If you can actually go in here, you can see that the uh, the platform portion of it is actually 3D. You can see it actually turned. You go over here and you play a little video. And of course, my PlayStation is an older PlayStation, so it doesn't keep up with that. The video playing stuff. Let's go back over here. And uh, this bird automatically comes back. There's like a bunch of fog right here. You have to clear the fog. So yeah, there's like little side missions where you can uh, gain points. So we need like some sort of wind or something. And right now, you're actually behind the fence. So it's kind of hard to see where you're going, but still, it's pretty cool. And there's the wind. Well, not really, actually. Okay, the first tornado is acquired. You can uh, cause those pig enemies to disable for a few minutes when you hit them with the uh, that this thing right here, whatever the hell this is. So it looks like a yo yo. Now, I think you can go into that door too, but. It's been quite a long time since I played this game. This game was fun. So how do you use your items here? Let's see. So Ferris Tornado. 
You use this item and it actually causes the uh, fog to go away and disappear. Now normally if you have a PlayStation that has a laser that is not that bad, <laughs> my I have a really old PlayStation, then uh, the video portion of it is going to play fine. So you're getting, you're getting quite a bit of points from that, that's actually pretty cool. Now over here, you have to jump across, so let me see if we can go down here. Climb up the walls right there, you see? And you got these like enemies right here on the bottom that kind of look like something you would see in Super Mario. You want to like bite your ass off. Can you see that? Now, what a great platformer. And the, the 2D graphics center are nice. This would have been something that would have been probably nicer on the, on the Sega Saturn. See if we can jump that branch right there to the next one. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right, so we made it over here. We have to swing all the way up there. Let's see if we can do it. And we're doing good so far. Just taking a little detour around this this game, so you have an idea of what it looks like and how awesome it is. Climb all the way up here. That was pretty cool. Acquired another uh, chicken. Yeah, 50,000 points. And we're climbing up even higher up here. See this? And that's locked, so we can't really go. Let's go in here. Yeah, and inside this building, we have the old man. And he tells you all kinds of stuff. He's a hundred-year-old wise man. You know, that is cleared. I had no idea I was playing that mission, but it got cleared. So that's me if you do a favor. And now this game is pretty cool. So trust me, there's like a lot of cool little side missions and the graphics, the graphics are nice. Nice, cool music in the game. So if you're in the mood to play a, a uh, 2D platformer on the PlayStation 1, uh, this is definitely what you want to play. Let's see what we got going on here. And I got thrown out of the, uh, the window right there. This area right here is. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this area is where you have to like, be careful where you go. Because I completely forgot what happens over here. And this guy tries to kill you! I completely forgot about that. And he thinks it's funny. And basically this guy gets a kick out of trying to kill you because he tries to drown you in the, in the pond right there. So come back after you learn how to swim. So one of your missions is that you have to learn how to swim. And it gives you like a, a pack of bananas. I don't think that's going to help you too much. And you're making your way back all the way over here. And you can read the signs if you hold down the up button. Yeah, it's a pond. You can save your data right here if you want. So check and save data at a slot one. Uh, so you can see right here, I'm actually, I have a safe file on here already. I should have probably loaded that. But we'll uh, save right here. We'll create a new one. So I'm level seven right here. And I probably had that safe file from quite a long time ago.
In fact, let's go. Let's go to my other save file. Let's uh, check it out. Let's go to Mood Game. I spent like forever since I actually played the save file. So you can see, I put like one hour and fifty-three minutes into it at one point. Well, actually, no. This one has nine hours and thirty-four minutes. So I have two save files on here. I did not realize that. So I have like nine hours on this one right here. Let's let's check it out. Yeah, let's load this block up and let's see what we got going on here. So we got this save file here. I have an umbrella. I completely don't remember this level at all. I know a while ago I was playing this game like a lot. Put, like got into like nine hours into it. And uh wow. Man, I don't remember this. It's been a long time since I played this. Old tree house. What do we got going on here? What is this? Wow, 500,000 right there. That's crazy. Okay, that bird is actually talking to me, so he's friendly. It's been so long since I played this game that I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Or what I'm so supposed to do. Look at the nice graphics on this. It looks pretty cool. Alright, looks like we're uh, going to a different area here. See, now we can swim. So at some portion of the game, you can actually learn how to swim. You see that? What's down here? I wonder what... Oh my god, what the hell is that? Did I die? Oh no... There is a, like, a rope over here. Let's see what's over here. Got these little, like, little drum things going on here. Got something over here. What, what is this? See, so kind of has that Donkey Kong Country look to it. Look at that. It looks like all the enemies are sleeping. Except for that thing. You don't wanna you don't wanna mess with that thing. Oh I got bit! Oh get off! <laughs> oh man. So of course oh no, not again. So in order to get by, you have to run up here. Oh, that was close. And what do we have over here? We're in the jungle. We can save if we want to save. And I have no idea what type of missions or anything that I'm supposed to be doing here. It's like one of those areas that I'm a little confused on. Okay, let's see if we can get it right there. Is that working on the TV and trying to Oh my god. Not that again. Is 
you can tell that this game provides hours and hours of fun. I this this save file right here is actually pretty long. It's actually nine hours for a PlayStation One game. That's actually pretty good. We got hit by those spikes. So if we can go down here and figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go now. So right now we're going back to the uh, river. And it's really interesting to look at this uh, old save file. I haven't played this game in like so long. Let's see what kind of uh, items I have here. I got all these items. Look at this. Seven pages of items. Oh, I fell off again. Let's try again. So yeah, that's my uh, Tomba save file, and it's a pretty fun game. Let's see if I'm going into. Uh, Up to this one one more time. We're climbing up into uh, this area over right here. Let's see what exactly we have in here. I don't think there is anything in here for us. Let's see, we can't climb that tree. We can't walk this way. Horse flower guarding, okay. I'm gonna probably, I probably have to start this game over in order to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Let's do an exit on that. So, yeah, that's Tamba for the PlayStation. Really, really fun game. You got the title screen right there. Now, it's one of those obscure platformers that's pretty rare in the PlayStation. Uh, Whoopi Camp. They only made it like two games, I think. Tomba 1 and Tomba 2. And unfortunately, there was never another Tomba ever again after that. I uh, this there, If there's one game that should be made, remade on the PlayStation, it should be this game. Uh, Tomba 1 and 2. A remake. I mean, that would be really, really awesome. This is the option menu right here, just so you guys have an idea. Nothing really spectacular in the option menu. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, and if you love Tomba as much as I do, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, I think Tomba should have been the mascot to the PlayStation, but it ended up being um, Crash Bandicoot. I almost forgot his name for a second. And Crash, Band Crash Bandicoot was really good, but I think Tomba was better. If you agree, if you agree with me, let me know down below what you think.